Hello everyone! This week we are going to talk about implementing modules to Unity, placing them on a drawship, and testing all the animations. Hello and welcome to another Vulkanovic's Dev Diary. In previous dev diary, we finished 3D models of all modules, and now it's time to implement them into the game. At first, we are going to add them to older but feature functional drawship that is used by our programmer. Each module has to be turned into a game object with all components used in older modules. We have to check for any console errors and grid problems. For example, things like snapping, correct grid sizes, and no collision with other modules. Now we place the modules onto a newer drawship that is used for visual testing. It turned out there are many animation bugs caused by wrong axis orientation. We had to fix it and re-export all modules again. Then each module was checked individually to ensure all runs well. To speed up the testing process, we made a long drawship capable of holding all modules at the same time and just run them through each time some change has been made. Now that the modules are fixed, we can take a proper look at the drawship. The main point is to check the overall visual and animations. We experimented with different groups of deployed modules to see how it looks. It seems that the proportions are fine and ship really looks like an automated factory. Right now, the modules don't really do anything, but in the next iteration, we are going to connect them with production, module layouts and many more features. After the visual check, we moved to test the module interaction. Player can easily open and close any module as long as it can be reached. For example, roof modules are mainly open from inside. Visual indicators work as designed, and it's easy to see if a module is active or not. This way, player can easily tell if production is running just by looking at the drawship from distance. It may happen that the resources are missing and production can no longer continue. In that case, modules stop and wait. Now that the modules are done, it's time to improve the drawship and update it based on experience from previous versions, mainly the animations that have to be adjusted to perfectly follow drawship states. By that we mean drawship going underground, deploying on the surface and so on. Also we plan to improve the gangway tunnels to perfectly connect each section of the ship. Everything will be textured in the future, right now we focus strictly on the function and preparation of features. That's all for this week's Dev Diary. Next time we will work on the drawship features and connect the modules with the drawship states. If you have any questions or ideas, let us know in the comments below. Also, feel free to sign up for alpha testing. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.